Hi, I'm Amy Perkle, and I love making flipbooks. One of my favorite parts about telling a story through flipbooks is that you can animate stories and create characters that are unique to you. And best of all, you don't have to be an amazing artist to start. If all you can draw are basic shapes and stick figures, that's totally fine. All you really need is a stack of paper, a pencil, and your imagination. You can make a flipbook about an awesome monster truck speeding away and crashing into a building. How about a sad flower wilting in the sun who's saved by the shade of a nice rain cloud? What if you have a secret crush at school and you also like werewolves? You could animate a love story about two werewolves that find each other under a full moon. Here are seven tips for flipbook success. One, number your cards. Numbering your cards helps you keep track of where you are in the animation. And if your cards get messed up, you can easily figure out where they go. Two, make key frames for your characters. Designing what your characters look like before you start your flipbook will help your animation look better and more consistent. You can create key frames for your characters to always refer back to. Three, Make sure your animation stays on the left or right half of the page. This depends on whether you're left-handed or right-handed, but you should always keep the animation on one half of the card. This makes it so you can see all of the amazing animation when you flip it. Four, shoot for 10 to 12 frames per second. In general, flipbook animation looks best if you do 10 to 12 frames per second. You can always add more frames to slow animation down or take away some frames to speed animation up. Five, Test your flipbook before you finish. It's always fun to see how your flipbook is working out before you're done. This will help you determine if you need to make any big changes in your story early on. Six, add blank cards for a smoother flip. Sometimes, short flipbooks can be hard to flip through. Adding 10 to 15 blank cards at the end will help you flip your flipbook. And seven, make it personal. Tell a story that's unique to you or your interests. This is the most important thing ever. Flipbooks are the best when the story being told is unique to you, the storyteller. You have a story and characters to bring to life with flipbook animation. What are you waiting for? You can learn all the basic animation skills to tell the best flipbook story ever by watching my flipbook class now on myblueprint.com.